In this tip and trick, I'm going to talk to you about ordering your operations. When you're using automatic ordering, there are some options that control how it does it. In a milling document, we have four options to optimize our ordering. So right now I've got none selected. That means that she's going to take the orders of the features in the part view. Minimize tool changes. He's going to stick with the same tool, do as many features as it can before proceeding to the next tool. Do finish cuts last is going to move all of your finish cuts to the end and just do the roughing cuts first. Cut higher operations first is going to mill your features from the top of the stock and work down to the bottom, effectively sorting them by Z coordinate. And lastly, minimize rapid distance is going to minimize the amount of travel a tool does between features and optimize in that way. Minimize rapid distance is the only ordering option that changes the order of the features themselves rather than the operations which are specified in the part view. As you can see, you can have any combination of all four of these options. So what you're going to want to do is run a simulation to verify the options you've chosen. And everything looks good. Now let's move on to a turning document. So in a turning document, the automatic ordering options are very, very similar. Some of the options we discussed before only affect any milling operations you have in your turn mill document. However, there is an additional option which allows you to create a template to order the operations. All you need to do is specify the order in which you want to machine each type of operation, simply selecting one and using the arrows to position it. Once you're happy with the order, go ahead and press OK and the order of the operations will reflect your template. Once again, just run a simulation, verify your options, and you're ready to send your code to the machine.